Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. This is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com, and this brief video is about shock relief valves, sometimes known as workport relief valves. They are found in the circuit between the main directional valve spool and a cylinder. And while these shock relief valves are built into the main directional valve bank, they are typically adjusted independently, separately, and must be set for the correct pressure. Typically, they will be set up for you when a machine is new from the factory. But let's look and see what role they play. So we have a partial wheel loader schematic running live, and the shock valve shows its true value when the directional valve spool is closed. When the work ports that go to the cylinder have been blocked off, that is when you need a shock valve. Otherwise, when the cylinder is running back and forth or actually moving, you have a system relief valve or perhaps a pressure compensator on a pump. But when the valve is closed and the operator runs the bucket or the boom into a stationary object or is working against harsh ground, then it's handy to have a relief valve that can protect overpressure conditions on the hydraulic lines going to the cylinder, prevent cylinder damage. These are the things that you want a shock relief valve for. So I'm gonna get out the old boxing glove here and hit the tilt cylinder on the end of the rod. And if you're watching the shock relief valve number 26, it's popping open and taking care of any pressure spikes that are developing as we hit the end of the cylinder rod. Now, if you're also watching on the opposite side here, check valve number 22 is doing its job. You can't hit down on a cylinder rod and make it compress slightly against a fixed volume of oil. It will compress just slightly without developing a potentially damaging amount of partial vacuum on the rod side of the piston. We wouldn't want cavitation taking place, so as the shock relief valve may open to tank when the boxing glove hits the end of the rod, the anti-cavitation check valve, sometimes known as the makeup check valve or the anti-void valve, draws in necessary makeup fluid on this dashed blue line. That's our main return to tank line. So it's drawing fluid back into the circuit, making sure that the cylinder is protected. That's a quick look at work port relief valves or shock relief valves. I hope that's been helpful. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.